Hello, welcome to A Little Extra Practice. I'm Dr. Thomas Little. I am very excited for today's lesson on stem and leaf plots. My goal is to make this as easy as possible, and as always, we have, we'll have some practice problems at the end of the video. Let's take a look at what a stem and leaf plot is. Well, on the right side of the screen, you can see a stem and leaf plot is used to record and display a large series of numbers, often gathered in a short period of time. One example would be to ask each person's age as they enter a movie theater to see a popular new kids movie. A stem and leaf plot would be perfect for that. Now, please don't do it. It's not polite to ask people's age. Take a look at the key under the stem and leaf plot. 4, 7, 47. So in the plot, the stem side is tens. The leaf side are ones. Let's take a look at the next page and we will go more in depth. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do as I construct a data set is I'm going to first look at the data. Looks like I have some single digit numbers with a 9 and an 8. Looks like the largest number, I see numbers in the 40s. Okay, here looks like a 62. Okay, so my key is going to be, I'm just going to pick a number, I'm going to go 2, 7 equals 27. Okay, so people will look at the stem and leaf plot and know that the stem in this case is the tens and the leaf is the ones. My range again was from the single digit numbers all the way down to 60. Now I don't know if there's a number in the 50s. Either way, I'm going to put a fit 5 there. I cannot skip. Even though there may not be 50s, I can't just go from 4 to 6. All right. Now, I got the stems, or the 10s in this case. I'm just going to go... The first thing I'm going to do as I construct a data set is I'm going to first look at the data. Looks like I have some single-digit numbers with a 9 and an 8. Looks like the largest number, I see numbers in the 40s. Okay, here looks like a 62. Okay, so my key is going to be, I'm just going to pick a number, I'm going to go 2, 7 equals 27. Okay, so people will look at the stem and leaf plot and know that the stem, in this case, is the tens and the leaf is the ones. My range, again, was from the single-digit numbers all the way down to 60. Now, I don't know if there's a number in the 50s. Either way, I'm going to put a 5 there. I cannot skip, okay? Even though there may not be 50s, I can't just go from 4 to 6. Now, I got the stems, or the tens in this case. I'm just going to go single-digit numbers. Okay, I have a 9. I have an 8. Sometimes you'll see commas there. I'm not going to put the commas in there because looking at the keys, this would be 0, 9, which is 9, 0, 8. Okay, it's not 98. You have to start at the stems, 0, 9, 0, 8. In the tens, 13, 15, 12. 19, 14, uh, 17, 10. Looking at the 20s, 27, 26, 25, 23, and it looks like that's it. 30s. 31. 231. 30. 34. And let's see that. Oh, 32. I missed that one. Okay. So even though I missed the 32, it's no big deal. I just put it in there at the end. These remember these the leaves do not have to be in order. 
41. It looks like all the numbers are crossed out except for 62. I'll put the 62 in and finish it. What I can't do is I can't put a zero here in the 50, the five stem, because that is, that adds a number. That means there's a 50, but there's no 50 in the data set, so I can't have it on the stem and leaf plot. So what I'm gonna do is just leave a blank space in the leaves. And this indicates that there's no number in the 50s. Because the stem and leaf plot problems take so much space, we're gonna do one practice problem at a time. So go ahead, press pause, solve the problem, then press play and we'll go over it. Okay guys, how'd it go? Looking at the numbers, I see double digit numbers and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my key. And again, when I make my key, I can just make up any digit. So I'll just 15. 15 is a good number. I don't see it there. That's fine. 15, 1, 5 equals 15. So it looks like the stem is going to be the tens this time. And the leaf will be the ones. Looking at this, the range, it looks like the number in the tens all the way up to the 40s, it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, which is really 10, 20, 30, 40. And let's see, 19. Cross that off. Uh, there's a 14. All right, what's in the 20s? Let's see, 29. 25, 20, and that's it. Okay, 30s, 32, 33, 38, 31, number in the 40s, 45, 44, and let's see, I got the 45, okay, and 43. How'd you do? Let's go ahead and solve practice problem number two. Okay, take a look at the second practice problem. I gave you the stem and leaf, and then please pause the video, answer the three questions, and then we'll take a look at them. Come back. We're looking at the hundreds and the tens here, and then the leaf are the ones. For example, we have 144, 143, 148, 141, 140, and so on. Let's look at the first question. How many students were surveyed? Well, surveyed means asked. So let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 in the leaf section. So that means that there's 15 sets of data. In this case, 15 students were surveyed. Next one, what is the range of heights? The greatest minus the least. Well, the greatest looks like it's 174. The least looks like it's 140. Subtract and we have 34. So the range in height from the shortest student to the tallest student is 34 centimeters. What is the mode? Remember, the mode is number that occurs the most. I think a mode as most because they both are four letter words. They both start with MO. What number occurs the most? Well, it looks to me like 156. There's two of them. And there's also two 152 you can have a tie for most or mode, okay? Every other number occurred once, 156 and 152 occurred twice. So both of them would be the mode. It, they're the most common heights. Please subscribe to A Little Extra Practice and we'll see you next time.